Hey guys, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to the place where we turn Hill, our way to self-love and unity consciousness. All right, welcome to your full moon in Capricorn reading. All right, let's get started. Short and sweet. Oh, <laughs> All right, I come to you, humbly God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that we need to know? Listen, what y'all talking about? Oh, is this going to be a fun reading? I hope it's a fun reading. I'm in the mood for fun. Okay, um, here we are with it. Straight out the gate. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to read it. Sacred Sexuality. All right, this card has been haunting readings since I got this deck. All right, um, Sage at the bottom of the deck. All right. Now to... In addition to that, we have Nature and we have Ask Body. All this with sacred sexuality, sacred sexuality, the natural flow of things, and also getting in touch with your body. With the sage coming out, there's a wiser way of doing it. So we don't think about like, when we talk about sex or sexuality, we don't think, you know, we don't talk about wisdom and, you know, things like that. Um, so I find this very interesting. It's like um, a more evolved way of using our sex, you know, realizing that it's a vehicle for other things outside of, um, you know, whatever, however we use it, okay? There is a spiritual element to it. Um, ooh, manifest at the bottom of the deck, all right. Uh, so some of you guys, if you are interested in, you know, using sex magic or sexual, um, you know, transmutation, take this as a sign. Um, try it on a full moon, okay? Light some candles, you know what I'm saying? Get your favorite toy or whatever. Play your music, all right? Think about what you want to manifest and start practicing. Rub it out, okay? <laughs> Keep those affirmations short and sweet, just like you do with any other affirmation, right? You know, just... I'm aligned with love. I'm aligned with love. All right, when you hit that peak, if you can remember when you hit the peak, you know what I'm saying? It might be best to like, while you're warming up, you know what I'm saying? You get into that peak. You might be using whatever materials you use, adult videos or whatever it is to get there. But try to remember to throw in the affirmation while you're starting to feel that pleasure build up. And if you can remember at the peak, then yeah, say it at the peak. If not, not a problem. While you're still in that orgasmic glow, afterglow, you could just repeat it, okay? I'm aligned with love or whatever your affirmation is. Do that affirmation. Say it for like a good minute afterwards, okay? So it's, it's the, the power of the... the that the power of that that sexual energy is all about like doing affirmations while you're feeling good right doing affirmations while you're feeling low if you're feeling heartbroken you're feeling rejected and saying i'm aligned with love i'm aligned with love it ain't gonna work like that you have to be in a good place that's why the sexual energy it's like in this no thought zero mind energy where you don't you're not gonna sit here and throw salt on your own game. You're not, because you're in this glow. You can't really think of anything else besides what you're implanting in your mind. So it's a very vulnerable time where you can just plant some seeds, you know, in your afterglow. So, all right. End of TED Talk. All right, let's go. Five minutes in. We ain't doing that. Anyway, it's one of my favorites. I do do like regular affirmations as well, but I definitely like to do the um, do the, the sex magic as well. It's pretty fun. It is fun. It's a fun way to like manifest, right? It feels less like work, less like, okay, I have to say this seven times, carry the three and then nine more times and then seven more times. It's like, no, now you just do it in a, in a chill ass way. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's just start with the damn reader. Okay, so what have we manifested since the new moon? All right. 
this overthinking. We have the Empress card coming out along with the Nine of Swords. All right. All right. It does seem like there's a little bit of a burden that comes with elevating. All right. This new sage energy. It's like a new, um, when they say like more money, more problems, for example, or like you have more responsibilities and it, it, it's like, okay, what do I do with this? Um, yeah, it's something, it's something about like, how do, what do I do with this new position? What do I do with this new money? What do I do with this new, um, this new wisdom, whatever the case is, it could just be you elevating in the company and you becoming, having a new position. Now you're trying to rework, okay, wait, so I haven't been in this position before. How do I move now? I was once just, you know, I had coworkers, I was on this worker bee energy, and now I'm a supervisor. How do I handle this as a, when it comes to my coworkers? Like now I'm their supervisor. Now I have to move differently with them. Okay, um, how can I move differently um, as it, in regards to the higher ups who are now looking at me? You know, how do I have to hold myself more accountable at this job? It's things like that. How, as you elevate, how do you hold yourself in the world? How do you show up in the world differently? Okay, what does that look like for you? It's a brand new ego that you're putting on. All right, all right. Where are we now? So it's like we manifested an upgrade. Where are we now? King of Swords with the Three of Cups. See, look at that. It's like, oh, this level of elevation. Now it's making people look at like, you gotta look around, look around at your circle. So it's funny that I mentioned like, okay, supervisor, they were once my friends, now I'm supervising them. That changed the dynamic. How can I move with them now, right? That's what it is. It's having this level of clarity, being in this new sense, um, whatever this new position is, or it could just be a more evolved state spiritually. It can be a more uh, a more mature uh, more mature state emotionally, right? So let's say if somebody is used to hanging out with the bullies or hanging out with the girls and just like being a player or a playette all day, um, and then they get to this place where they're like, "No, I'm ready for more." But now you realize, oh, the people that I'm hanging out with, I can't, we, I'm trying to meet meet a good boy, a good girl. You know, I can, we can't be going to strip clubs all day now. You know, whatever the case is, it's like, how does that change? Change your dynamics with your social circle, all right? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of clarity about, or there's a lot of clarity that's going to come into play in this full moon in Capricorn as to what the changes are going to be with this new dynamic. As we change, everything changes around us, okay? The universe responds um, by way of the people, you know? So as as you elevate, you might feel like, okay, I'm no longer on the same wavelength with this person. They're no longer on the same wavelength with me because I changed. Um, and now how do I work this out, all right? So I feel like the full moon is gonna bring uh, clarity about that. Because I feel like there has been a mode of overthinking how does how how does a new me fit into my old world? It doesn't. All right, that's pretty much what's happening there. It doesn't. It's a new world. So now it's like, can people be on board with this new world, this new you, and create this new world with you, um, or not? I feel like it's gonna be very clear cut. Well, it's tough. All right, um, what's coming to awareness? What's coming to our awareness? Ten of Wands, see? What was once like before supervisor, I was able to uh, I'm just speaking in this in, in this example. Before supervisor, I was able to speak with my coworkers and we were able to trash management, you know, we were able to, you know, steal time, whatever the case is, right? We we were able to like be a little bit more loose. Now that I become a supervisor, 
that type of connection, those those things that we used to do before, it has more of a burden for me now. Like I am management, so I can't talk about management like that because I am that and I get what it is to be that, right? Um, or I have more higher ups, I have more eyes on me, so I can't sit here and play and, you know, kind of find loopholes in, in the company, you know, I can't do that anymore. The, the way that we once connected is now becoming a burden for me. So that's what's coming to the awareness, the, the stark difference now, how different things are as you change. Because I want to, I want to find a wife, I want to find a husband, me hanging out at the strip clubs with these guys or these girls, it's just like, it no longer does it for me. Now it just feels like something I have to do, right? What's no longer serving us? <laughs> I think we're, well, that's what's coming about. What's no longer serving us? Star card, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Death card. It's a slow death here. We have the World card coming out of the bottom of the deck. All right, it's um, it's definitely, it's just the energy. It's it's a bittersweet energy of growing apart from people. Okay, you elevate and then you're growing apart from people, and you just have to see that. Um, and then it's just like seeing it very clearly and not trying to keep make it happen um because that's just going to become a burden so this could be a relationship too if you guys connected on a lower level for example if you found a soulmate who's on a lower vibe and you guys shadows connected right because that that'd be happening right so if you found someone you you guys shadows connected and that was you both got off on being shady for example let's say that all right um Bonnie and Clyde stuff like Bonnie and Clyde they they got off on like oh man we want rob banks and blah 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 now imagine if one of them if Bonnie said one day I don't want to rob banks no more but that's how they connected right they connected on that on that shady level so now it's like okay once one party says I don't want to be that anymore then it changes the dynamic now this person I don't want to be that anymore I want to be a pastor it's like okay now that's totally different. We are not on the same wavelength at all. We are not speaking the same language at all. And it becomes very clear that, okay, this is growing apart now, you know? So it's that. That can happen in love. It can happen in relationships, you know, or all relationships, romantic, platonic, fam uh, familial, family, um, and the workspace, okay? But it's definitely, it's a heavy emphasis right now on the people around us and how do they fit into this new world. All right. So playing small, carrying this burden and acting like you didn't grow is not serving you. All right. Um, acting like acting like you still like the strip clubs and you like, you know, no, no, I'm not against strip clubs. OK, I'm here for it. But to act like that is your vibe and when it's no longer your vibe because you have the friend you were about about that life. And now you're looking for a marriage, you know, so you want to, you want to find people who, who you could take, whatever. I don't, cause I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and bash strip clubs and strippers. Like I, I, like I'm not with going to the club, but you get what I'm saying? Like you were an old way. And so for you to still go to the strip club, if you no longer want to go to the strip club, if Bonnie decides I don't want to rob banks anymore, but they keep robbing a bank. Right now, that's becoming a burden. They're acting now. They're putting on a false self, and that's becoming them. That's them playing smaller than what they've become. All right, I'm gonna stick to the Bonnie and Clyde thing because I don't want no, I don't want nobody coming for me about no strip of strip bashing. All right, star card that healing. Um, it's like you see more, you want more. Okay. And it's like, no offense to you. If you want to keep robbing banks, that's fine. But I just don't want to do that anymore. I, I want to do something else, you know? Not necessarily better, not worse. It's just something else. That's all. Okay, so it's leading to this like slow death cycle happening with people in the circle. It's like, if it wasn't clear before, it's about to become very clear now. Or right, in the full moon cycle. All right, how can we release and let go? Queen of Wands. 
Stop manifesting what you want. If Bonnie decides I don't want to rob banks anymore and they want to become a preacher, now it's like, okay, I want to start manifesting people who are in that vibe, people who want to be preachers too, or people who are on that spiritual path too, whatever the case is, all right? That's how you start doing it. You start manifesting. So we're back to that manifesting energy. Now, if you want to use sex to start manifesting, then do that too, right? Um, but that's the thing. It's stepping into your power and realizing what it is that you want and then being more proactive in manifesting it. Surrender to the slow death here. We have the surrender at the bottom of the deck. I mean, uh, under manifesting. Surrender to the slow death. Wow, we have destruction here. Surrender to the destruction. Yeah, there's a slow death. There's a slow destruction that's happening with the, with the relationships. Just understand that that's what's happening and it's okay. Surrender to it. Allow it to flow. Don't try to force yourself into the box that you once were. You're no longer in that box. It's like a butterfly becoming a butterfly and realizing, oh, my friend is still in a cocoon. And then you try to go back into the cocoon you already bust out of. No, you're a butterfly. Now you got to find butterflies, okay? When they ready to become a butterfly, they'll become that. All right? Fool card. There's definitely new energy coming in. Um, it's time to manifest that new energy. Surrender to the new energy that's flowing in. And, and surrender to the ones that are dying out now, all right? Um, it does feel like there's a little bit of resistance to that. Like, Bonnie is still, like, they're still, they're having these moments in their mind, like, I don't want to rob banks anymore, but then they still go along and they still pretend as if they really enjoy it when they really don't. So it's like a weird transition. Um, there might be a fear of loneliness, right? Like, oh, I'm flying solo as a butterfly and everybody that I know is in this cocoon. There are cocoons. Um, so it's that feeling of like, okay, I have to be okay with this this full energy. I have to be able to fly free and be okay with like doing this on my own for a little bit. All right. Um, yeah. So, all right. Let's see what the blockages are, what we're feeling to see and overall advice. And we're out of here. Oh, <sighs> okay. So the channel might be a little bit different because I'm going to have to work on like I have to work on this like work-life balance, um, conserving my energy, and also going out and having my playtime. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in ATL show, they gotta have fun, okay? Um, but so these readings are probably gonna get a little bit shorter because they were getting way too long. It was getting crazy. And every time I did a long reading, I was just like, oh my God, my energy. So as you've seen with these, um, the Zodiac readings that I just posted earlier this week, uh, they are, way shorter but i feel like they're way more efficient too like i get to the point i get to the meat of the issue um so yeah so i'm trying like a i'm doing the, the celtic the celtic cross spread and that actually helps me to just get the point across better as opposed to this free flowing story time that i've been doing which i loved and i do enjoy it but i just yeah, i'm being led to pull back too you know, so I can have more energy to do other things. I do want to do other things with this channel. And I, I want to put out some products, you know, I'm working on, on, you know, working on some things. So, yeah, I just got to pull back a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoy the new format um, and you still get the, the message that you need to get here. Also, with the shorter readings, I'll probably be able to do more readings too. So that's pretty cool. All right. That's a little update. All right. Let's go. Blockage. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, um, there's some resistance into like, all right. See, I feel like it's about to be very clear, but how do we clearly handle it? It's like realizing like, okay, this is a clear problem. I don't want to rob this bank anymore. And I really don't even know where to begin in like pulling myself away from this situation. It does feel like it's hard to like, unwrap yourself or um, detach yourself from your from your social circle so <laughs> social circle uh, <laughs> i've been so tongue-tied um but yeah it's, it's kind of hard to do that right uh, but that's where the manifestation comes in right that's where that queen of wands energy comes in um i feel like it can be a subtle transition where you is it doesn't have to be tower moment because i don't feel that energy i feel like the clarity might be a tower like oh this is about to be over soon 
whether it's a relationship or a friendship um, or, you know, a job or whatever, it's like something changed. Now it's just like, okay, but what do I want moving forward? As a butterfly, what do I want? Don't focus on a cocoon energy or how that's going to work out. I don't feel like that needs to be the focus. I think by focusing on looking forward and focusing on what you do want moving forward, Bonnie focusing on, okay, I don't really care to do this Robin Bank thing anymore, but what I do want is this. So what I'm going to do is light my candles, you know what I'm saying? Get my favorite toy and stop masturbating to the type of people I want in my life. <laughs> <laughs> or however you choose to do it okay jeez lighten up no so however you want to manifest whatever your your mode of, of manifestations is either way you have to know what it is that you want in this new energy and start feeding that energy however you feed it don't feed more into that uh, into the old okay um yeah all right cool yeah, it's um this phase of being it's very clear that things aren't working anymore, but it's also like I have to cycle that. I can't tell I can't tell Clyde that I no longer want to uh rob banks anymore. That's this energy. Queen of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, stifling the feelings and then not following your direction, you know. Putting yourself right back into the cocoon willingly. Like, this is a conscious decision. That's what it feels like, all right? With the Page of Wands, instead of like, hey, let me get my rod, you know what I'm saying? And start making things happen, all right? I love this Page of Wands now. It's starting to come through to me. It's like, I think um, it was one of these readings where I compared it to like David and Goliath, where this person has this power and this staff, right? And they just kind of, and this is not David, that's not the story of David specifically, but that's how I used it, where it's a small character who has a power of the of the universe behind them. So they take the staff and they, they bang it on the ground and then it creates this tornado, you know? It's like they have the power to pull from nature, the power to pull from the universal energy, the divine energy to make big things happen. So someone's stifling that too. Being the butterfly, they can do this. They could create whatever type of social circle they want, but they're deciding to go back into the cocoon, or we are as a collective, deciding to go back into the cocoon. Like, are you guys ready yet? I didn't know I was the only one ready. Holy shit. You gotta, you're gonna have to go out there, find people who are out there, you know, who's already butterflying with you, all right? What do they feel? What do we feel like to see as a collective? Four. Full moon cycle. Yeah. Okay. See, I was like, it doesn't have to be a tower. And here we are with the freaking tower. Anybody got time? Anybody got time for this tower moment? Okay. Look, we can avoid tower, tower moments sometimes. Okay. And this might be one of them. As I mentioned, the, the tower could be like, okay, the tower could be, the only tower could be the realization that a, a connection is dying off right? That moment of truth. Okay. Another time moment can be when you as a butterfly take your ass right back into the cocoon, you know what I'm saying? And you just stay there. Now, a tower and in, in you staying in that cocoon could be you're, you're no longer using your wings and them things start to deteriorate. Okay. You start seeing the effect of you staying in this cocoon when you no longer need to be in there. Staying in situations that you no longer need to be in. Staying in relationships, friendships, positions that you no longer need to be in. And it's it's eating away at your spirit or eating away at you, right? Okay. You don't want to see how that turns out, right? If you stifle yourself, you don't want to see how that turns out, how that's a tower moment, all right? Just do what you got to do. If you turn into a butterfly and these people ain't butterflying with you, find other butterflies. Believe in your ability to manifest, all right? Go with the flow here, surrender to the flow. Um, it's Everything is changing, all right? It's okay. Easy said than done, of course, but look, don't have any regrets about it, all right? I feel like if you guys, some of you guys, oh my gosh. Aries, Leo, Libra. These three signs have this energy specifically about social circle, where they're trying to keep themselves... Mm, Aries specifically, 
Aries specifically, they're trying to keep themselves in their cocoon, but they're keeping themselves in a cocoon with people who are carrying King of Wands energy. They're keeping themselves in a cocoon and they think that, oh, I'm going to wait for them to become butterflies when really they're, they're going to become like wasps or some shit. Nothing against wasps, but you got to understand what I'm saying here, all right? These people are not of your kind. They're not going to become butterflies. You're waiting for them to, to bust out of their cocoon and you're not, you don't know what kind of animal they are. They're not they're not going to become butterflies. So it's just like you're waiting for them to get it and they're not going to get it. Bonnie's waiting for Clyde to understand like, hey, maybe we should try something different. Maybe not rob a bank. Maybe we should try small time things. Maybe a, maybe just a candy store or something. You know, this person, while, while Clyde is like, no, this is what we're doing. Actually, we should go bigger, you know? So be mindful of that because it, that can turn into a tower moment where you realize that why you actually need right now could just be a smooth follow la transition into butterfly mode follow la finding more people or butterflies or it can be you having all this resistance and then finding out that you're surrounded by wasp right that truth and that's going to lead to that regret because it's like okay with the Aries Collective, with that with that reading, um, it was talking about like someone got a position back to, and this is why I kept talking about supervisor because that's a that's an example that I gave, right? Someone was offered a supervisor position. They decide they don't want to take that offer because they're afraid of how it's going to change your dynamic of their current coworkers. They know that if they become supervisor, they won't be as cool with the people that they work with because now they'll become the other they'll become the management right so because of that someone decides not to go for the offer they decide not to go for that upgrade the thing that brings them more fulfillment their whatever their um it, it takes them to the new step of evolution they decide not to do that because they want to stay with these people the thing with that is these people will take that opportunity if they got it right also, another part of that is some of them are crabs and barrel too. So they, they will not be proud of you if you did do that. And like if you take the step into butterfly mode and these people are in their cocoons and they're watching, if they're not watching and saying and being proud, you know, you're gonna be able to see like, okay, these people are not proud of me elevating like this. Or they are proud. You're going to see who's who, what's what. Right now, you're on the same level with these people and you're not. Bonnie and Clyde are just robbing banks, right? But once someone tries to get up and try to do more, you're going to see who responds to that and how, okay? That's what's going to become very clear for you. And then you're going to notice the nature of things because right now, the dynamic is, it does seem like there's some toxicity in some of these relationships, right? But because it's been the norm, you don't realize it. So once someone tries to do something different, you might be surprised. Like someone's like, who do you think you are? What? You know? You don't want to see that. You don't want to stay down there and start ruining offers because of the people around you. That's That, that could be a tower moment. So if somebody decides, oh, I'm not going to take that supervisor offer because of the people around me and I want to keep everything cool and I want to people please and I want everybody to like me. It's going to at least to a tower moment of regret because then that offer is given to someone else who you thought was down with the squad too. Like, oh, F the management until one of them get it and they take the offer that you were given, right? Anyway. With the Aries, with the Aries reading, it came out like, it was like a love thing. Like someone was... Someone had an opportunity for, for a real thing, um, but they were around people who were just like players and like, oh, love is stupid. Love is whack, yo. You know what I mean? And it's just like, okay, now you're sitting here dealing with all these people who are telling you don't go for love until they find love and then you're going to be the one left alone because you tossed an opportunity because of them. They won't do the same for you and they shouldn't. No one should, okay? Anyway, that's looking like a tower moment. Passing up an opportunity to people please the people around you um, is not going to work in our favor if we do that, okay? Going back into your cocoon is not going to work in anyone's favor here, all right? So just be mindful of that. If you find yourself, you know, if you find yourself having a choice and opportunity to 
fly. Go on and fly. Do not wait. All right. That's, it's, it's not going to work in your favor there. All right. Seven of Cups. Yeah, some confusion about that. Oh, my God. See, seeing a light. Sunshine. The sun with the pit. <laughs> All right. Um, see, it's some confusion about that. It's like someone's seeing the light. This could be a spiritual calling. This could be a spiritual awakening. And then you're around a bunch of people who aren't awake yet. And you might be sitting there. I remember I dealt with this. You know what I mean? When I first started seeing 1111, and it was before it became that whole mainstream, make a wish 1111. The people who were experiencing that before it became mainstream, you thought you were losing your effing mind because you were seeing numbers following you all day. And you didn't have Twitter, Twitter astrologers to talk about it. Nobody was talking about it back then, right? What I did, I went back into my cocoon. I know what this is. It did not work well, okay? You go back into your cocoon, it's like I was sitting here seeing 11-11 all day. I was seeing my birthday all day. You know, it was just too much. I'm like, yo, I'm losing my shit. Anybody else seeing 11-11? Nobody else seeing numbers all day? Nobody seeing 777? What's going on? Nobody. I was getting deer in the headlight -like looks from the people around me. So because of the, the people around me, I was like, okay, I'm tripping. I don't even, first of all, I'm confused. We all in the dark together. For some reason, I'm coming out and starting to see some type of light. I didn't see it that way in the, at that time. I didn't see that, oh, I was seeing a light. You know, I was seeing a new way. I was awakening. I was awakening. I didn't see that. I saw it like, okay, well, this dark is comfortable for me. That we're all in this dark, you know, we're all unawakened. So I'm just gonna go and crawl right back into the pit, okay? Uh, which led to a bunch of other things, you know? Um, yeah, and it just stifled my growth, all right? And then, yeah, it definitely led to like, okay, now I started seeing the truth about people in this dark. And I'm like, oh, shit, man, fuck them. I'm out. <laughs> and where you said the sun was over there? All right, I'm going there. Fuck these things. <laughs> anyway, that's what's happening. All right. All right. Um, what is the animal spirit here? Animal spirit. Oh, holy cow. We have buffalo spirit. The universe will provide. Okay. What, um, I was about to say wild spirit. Sometimes life stings. That didn't even come out. But I feel like this is going to be a bittersweet moment. Bitter, bittersweet moment. Where you're just going to have to realize. Mm, yes. Yes, son. Where you're going to have to realize that, um, yeah, this is falling apart. We're growing apart. There's nothing we can do about that. It's not a punishment for anybody. Nobody is good or bad. It's just I am going on a different path. I'm not saying that you're you're on a worse path. If you want to go to the strip clubs, that's fine. I just want to go to church and meet a church girl. Whatever the case is. It's not good or bad. It's different. So look at it like that. You're on a different wavelength not upper not lower you're on a different you you guys are just on a different wavelength with whoever you were around it's just different it's fine i'll swear you're seeing clearly now now this level of clarity it is the level of clarity is bittersweet. Don't cycle yourself about that, okay? Um, Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted because you guys are separating from, or we're separating from what we've known. We're sep we're going through this bittersweet energy of separating from social circle vibes. This could be family, friends, whatever. Soul tribe, it felt like soul tribe. You're probably moving on to another soul tribe, okay? But nothing was wasted here. It wasn't a waste of time. Those experiences, those memories, cherish them, but also know to let them go, okay? what wasn't toxic before that that could be a tower moment too if you stay too long in that cocoon they they were not you guys were all in the dark and it wasn't it wasn't as toxic because you guys were all in the same vein right but once you become lighter once you step into your light then the dynamic starts to become toxic for you okay once bonnie decides i don't want to rob banks anymore that connection now, what, what wasn't toxic, 
before it was a love filled yeah i love this we do this together we're in this together what was once that is now no longer once this person decides i don't want to do this anymore now it becomes toxic like wow you're a bad influence because i don't want to rob banks anymore right so understand that reassess the people in your life uh, leo had this it doesn't matter how long they've been in your life everybody needs to be reassessed when you make this major shift there does seem like everybody stepped into some type of upgrade for themselves and when you do just it, don't put anybody don't don't put anything past anyone you don't know how people are going to respond just keep an open mind there and it is going to be bittersweet you might be surprised who moves in a certain way and who doesn't see what spirit watching late when you go into butterfly mode you might feel like you're going to have to go on this path alone this person bonnie's stepping away from the, the the bank robbing game right and now it's like what do i do now i don't even know i don't have any pastor friends i don't know what the heck to do next They're, she's gonna is bonnie the woman or the man i don't know but whatever bonnie's gonna have to go and um fly off on their own and watch and wait you're gonna find people who are in that next wavelength with you okay abundant spirit uh, abundant the abundant universe will provide coming out with this is like hey there's going to be some some surprise um elements coming through as you fly along you're going to see that you're going to have people there with you on the same wavelength with you okay if you don't feel like you're being accepted in your group or you will you won't be accepted in your group it's because you're kind of energetically being pushed out into a new one all right okay but whatever the case is, you're seeing clearly, you're gonna see clearly the truth of who the people are and how they relate to you nowadays, okay? Um, and it's time to accept that. Don't put yourself back in that cocoon and it's not working in your favor, all right? All right, <laughs> let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG, Tyron Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out that info box below, okay? Thank you so much, till we meet again, peace.